I'm Mike Sogol, and welcome to the How To RV Seminars, where we will learn all about RV electrical preparedness. Today's episode is about how to use a digital multimeter to check voltage in a duplex outlet. So here we have a Fluke 117 digital uh, auto ranging multimeter, which is in the low $100, $125 range. So you'll see I've got three inputs across the bottom. There's a red one that says A, a black one that says COM, and a red one that says V. A is for when, you, is for when you're reading inline amperage, which we are not going to do. Uh, black common is what you're always going to use. And for anything voltage related, we're going to use the, the little right input. So I'm plugging my black meter lead into the common. And I'm pl plugging my red meter lead into the voltage input. Now, I am going to go, go ahead and turn my meter on to voltage AC. So this has a V sign for voltage, a little squiggly line that means uh, alternating current, and something that says 60 hertz. For all of our tests that we do for voltage, that's the only setting you have to use. Because this is an auto-ranging meter, it'll figure it out if you're everywhere, anywhere from a fraction of a volt up to um, as many volts as it will do, which I think is somewhere around 1,000 volts. Um, I take my two leads. Now, because this is an alternating current system, we don't care where the black or where the red goes. So I'm going to go ahead right now and plug the black and red into my two outputs. You can see I'm showing 115 volts. Exactly right. Just to review, the taller slot on the left here is your neutral, and the shorter slot on the right is your hot. So now I'm also going to me measure from the hot over to the ground. And it should read around full voltage. In this case, it's reading, you can see, 116 volts, which is exactly where it should be. If I then go from my ground over to my neutral, it should be very close to zero volts. Here it's sitting at 1.5 volts. Um, if you'll notice in the no shock zone uh, meter reading article, so anywhere below two to three volts is fine. So this is a little bit high, but we're drawing a lot of current in this room. So again, from hot to neutral should be around 120 volts. We're sitting at 115. From hot to ground should be very close to full voltage, which is sitting at 116 volts. And from ground to neutral should be very close to zero volts, within a couple of volts. And you can see we're sitting right at a volt and a half. And that's it. Thanks for watching the How To RV videos. Please subscribe to this channel for more information on RV electrical preparedness. I'm Mike Sokol. See you next time. Thank you.